Good evening and welcome to the Glen Art Club Memorial Gymnasium here in Jasper. Another night of junior college basketball presented by Bevel uh, Pinnacle Bank in Jasper. It's Bevel State Walker College basketball as the Bears play host to the Patriots of Wallace Selma. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brad Elmore alongside Brian Hill for WJLX Sports. Sebastian Black back in our studios. Or excuse me, uh, on the camera tonight, Woody Wilson back in our studio. We have so many people, Brian, now on the on the crew. I don't know who's where or what, but we're here tonight here at the Clem. And I guess what's throwing us off a little bit is we are on just a little late tonight because uh, Wallace of Selma thought it was a 7 o'clock tip-off. Yep, had to uh, make a little time adjustment uh, due to the visiting team, but uh, they did get here within a reasonable amount of time, so it's just a 30-minute delay tonight. Yep, just a little bit of a delay, and uh, I tell you, this Wallace of Selma crew is really good, at least early going in the season under Coach Dwayne Evans. They are 5-1 and one on the season. They're coming off a win over Gadsden State, 99-91. And they love to shoot the three ball. They are 42% from behind the arc and, of course, uh, averaging 78 points a game. And, Brian, we were talking during uh, the pregame warm-ups. Those kids are shooting the lights out over there in pregame warm-ups from behind the arc. Yeah, what they're doing out there that I've just watched, Brad, has just been scary. I mean, they've been hitting threes from virtually everywhere around the arc on the run, stopping, even from a little further back. Uh, they have had no problem hitting that three-pointer tonight, so Bell is going to have to bring a lot of pressure to those three-point shooters. The Bears coming off a loss to Coastal North 69-66 on Tuesday night. Bears averaging 69 points a game, but they're only 2-6 and six on the season under Coach Kelly Cheatham in his second year at the helm of the program. So, um... At any rate, uh, the Bears looking for another win, and uh, they need to get one, hopefully here tonight. This is the last scheduled game before the Christmas break. Yep, and looking at Tuesday night's game, Cameron Scott had a magnificent game, 19 points, six rebounds, three steals, and a block. Our player of the game, Maurice Johnson, 12 points, four rebounds, six steals, Brett. Absolutely tremendous defensive game from Maurice, we're seeing him gradually come into his own these past few games. And I tell you what, Bubba's going to need every bit of that tonight from both of those guys and more. Take a look at the starting lineups for the Bears. They're going to go with number zero, Maurice Johnson, the 5'11 sophomore. Number three, C.J. Beckham will get the start, 6'3 sophomore. Number five, Jervé Peters, back in action tonight. He's a 6'1 sophomore from Grissom. Number 13, R.J. Stevens will get the start of 6'5", freshman from Hillcrest. And number 24, Carterius Evans, the 6'5", sophomore from Minor. We'll take a break, 30 seconds. We'll be back with a tip. That's coming up next. Hi, I'm Mason Boren with Twisted Barley Brewing Company in downtown Jasper. And I do all my banking with Pinnacle Bank. Hi, my name is Sean Doss from the Cigar Box and Goatee Screen Printing downtown Jasper. And my bank is Pinnacle Bank. I'm Mike Wigington, principal at H.L. Wigington Capital Management. And Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. Welcome back to the Glen R. Clem Memorial Gymnasium Bear Basketball on WJLX. Brett Elmore alongside uh, Brian Hill with a call of the action tonight and uh, looking forward to some Juco basketball. The Bears and the Patriots set to do battle. The Bears already out on the floor are awaiting the arrival of the Patriots from their pitch. You hear the sound of the buzzer and we're just about set for uh, basketball here tonight. Good to see our Oakman Wildcat, uh, Skylar Heiss. He's back tonight along with Gervais Peters after their absence on Tuesday night. Need both of those to play, guys to play good, good, good tonight. That's right. Not a lot of depth on this uh, Wallace Selma team. They have 11 men on their roster. Not a lot of depth, but uh, some pretty good players, the ones who are playing. Rodney Battle averages 19 points a game. Tremont 
uh, Tremere Brown, excuse me, averaging 13 as the tip controlled by the Bears. R.J. Stevens away with a basketball and we're underway from the Clem. Johnson has it, we'll leave it off with Jervais Peters. Over now to Beckham. Beckham to the dribble. Beckham near side to Johnson as Selma in a man to man. Now here's uh, Johnson going to throw over to Beckham, excuse me. He steps on the baseline and out of bounds. Some sticky defense by Wallace Selman to start off with, force that turnover. Just underway from the Glen Arclim Memorial Gymnasium in Jasper. If you're looking for something to do tonight, come on by and see us. It's a great Juco action here at the Clem. Selma with a basketball. This is Jamar Jackson. He'll feed underneath in the paint. Shot is an air ball, no good. Whistles underneath off the rebound to Brown, and he's going to be fouled and go on the line to shoot two. Already Carterius Evans with his first foul. <coughs> it's almost been a precedent that uh, Carterius picks these up pretty early. First shot on the way. It goes round and round the cylinder and out. No good for number 20 Brown. He's 69% from the charity stripe on the season. And he cans the second shot. It's one nothing. Here's the ball loose. Johnson tries to save it into the hands of the Patriots, but now it's restolen by the Bears, but out of bounds as Stevens steps on the baseline. So the Patriots will inbound baseline underneath their own bucket. They'll bounce it into Brown. Outside three on the way, swish. Jamar Jackson makes it four nothing early going Patriots. Jackson was one of those guys that I saw shooting from just virtually everywhere around the horn. Johnson with a basketball, back over to Beckham now, far side perimeter, Beckham to the dribble, Beckham will drive in the paint, Beckham will put up the floater, Beckham no good. And the rebound coming out to the Patriots. Jordan away with it, he has it near side perimeter, he'll drive now on the wing, a kick out pass, three again, rims out this time, no good for Jackson, and the rebound to the Bears. Jervé Peters in the paint, gonna have it slapped away, and back the other way in transition, the Patriots come. Battle with the basketball right side. Skips a bounce pass inside. On the wing, the double team whistles, and a foul is Tremere Brown. The big guy drew the double team, Brian. Yeah, I've been waiting to see who drew that foul. It's either Carterius Evans again or R.J. Stevens. And the free throw is up and good for Tremere Brown. That's his second point of the night, both coming from the charity stripe. And it's 5-0, make it 6-0 as he drains them both. Full court press being applied. They work it in, the Bears do to Gervais Peters. Peters will break the timeline with a dribble. Now a pass to Maurice Johnson. Top of the circle. They work it into Evans. Evans will drive to the hoop and put it up and in. Carterius leads the state. Field goal percentage, 70.1. Nice job that time for Carterius. Makes it 6-2. His first points of the night. The Bears' first points of the night. Bounce pass. Rodney Battle with the basketball. Driving in the paint. Going to put up a shot. It's good. Right underneath in the paint, Rodney Battle with his first points of the ball game. Evans now with a basketball baseline, going to drive, shot, no good, rebound coming out to the Patriots. Pats have it, Davison with it, three ball, bounces, it's the top of the backboard, out of bounds, they'll call it, and the Bears will have the baseline. The action, fast and furious so far here tonight. There's a kid on the court, get him off. <laughs> and the referee <laughs> says, what's the deal? Get your kid back in the stands. Here's a drive to Gervais Peters and whistles. Gervais wants a hold and 
And he's, uh, I believe he's going to get one. Yep. And this one was going to be called on Marquise Davison. Beckham will try to inbound. He gets it in to, I don't know what the buzzer was about, but he got it in to, and the shot was no good. Back the other way. Ball is tipped out of bounds. Last touch by the Patriots. Nice hustle that time by Davison, but uh, Beckham now and the Bears will inbound baseline underneath their own bucket. Carterius Evans was able to pick up that steal, and now he's going to make the shot. Yep, shot up and good off the inbound. Carterius Evans. Easy does it as Evans gets the inbounds and the putback. Evans with his fourth point back the other way. Patriots whistles. We've got another foul. This one's going to be on Gervais. Eight to four, your score here in the opening half. 16-16, time to go. Ball is tipped out of bounds by Beckham. Good hustle with 17 on the shot clock. Yeah, CJ, number five in the state, steals 2.6 per game. Jordan with a basketball picked up by Jervé Peters defensively for the Bears. Tries to work off a screen, now we'll to pass over the left side perimeter cross court that'll be knocked away by Johnson but they come back up whether the Patriots do and a monster dunk is going to go awry a foul is called and that's going to be on Davison yeah RJ Stevens was able to take the charge there and get the turnover so back the other way the Bears will go Johnson with the basketball he'll walk it up the floor for the Bears Leaves it off now with R.J. Stevens. Back over to Johnson. Johnson to the dribble near side. Johnson stops his dribble, looks for help, finds it in Evans. Evans, high post, will drive in the paint. Shot no good. Gets his own rebound, and the putback is there. Nice job that time. Yeah, beautiful offensive rebound there by Carterius. He's got all of Bevel's six points. Doing a good job. Back the other way, Patriots with a basketball. Robbins just checked into the ball game, he's in there. Here's a drive, shot no good, and I believe we have another offensive foul. Another offensive foul, and back the other way, Bears will have it. That's notch the team fouls at three apiece now. RJ Stevens set to inbound, and now he's coming over toward the bench to get a, um, a towel here to wipe up some sweat off the floor. Eight to six, the Bears have clawed back into this thing early. Here comes Johnson over to Stevens. Stevens to Peters. Peters back to Johnson. Johnson near side, Beckham open look three. Front iron, no good. And the rebound out to Brown and the Patriots. Quickly to Jordan. Jordan in the front court. Jordan will drive with the paint. Jordan going to be fouled. No shot. He's going to be fouled on the floor and will likely inbound baseline. Yes. That one's going to be on R.J. Stevens. Fourth team foul on the Bears. The inbounds to battle. 14.50 time to go here at the Clem. Bears down two. A bounce pass in the paint, the lay-in, good. Jameer Brown with five points tonight. Makes it 10 to six, so he has half the points for the Patriots. Peters with a basketball. Left side to Johnson. Johnson picked up by Robbins defensively. Here's an open look, Deuce on the way and good. Well, Carterius is on it tonight, Brett. Carterius is on it tonight. 10 to 8, your score, all eight points coming from Carterius. And Evans averaging 15 a game. He's likely to hit 15 here any moment. Here's a three on the way, no good. Rebound coming out to Johnson to the Bears. They're running with it. Johnson going to lay it up. Johnson, no, can't get it to fall. Rebound coming out to Robbins. Long snowbird pass down the floor. The dunk is missed. Peters away with the board for the Bears. 
Peters into the front court. Peters in the lane. Floater, no, will not fall. Rebound, Patriots, and off the leg of Gervais Peters. Cornelius Grant's going to come in and relieve R.J. Stevens. And looks like we're going to have Malachi Hampton, excuse me, Trinity Epps, the Jasper Viking, getting ready to come in. Not on yet, though. Cam Scott set to check in as well. 13.34 time to go in the opening half. Jordan with a basketball. He's going to beat a streaking player. Robin's good. And he's fouled and will go to the line to shoot one. I think they're going to tag Cornelius Grant with this one, Brett. Nice pass that time. The assist. And like you mentioned, Epps will come in and Cam Scott coming out will be Jervé Peters and... Uh, Maurice Johnson. Yeah. Comes a shot on the way from Robbins. It is no good. And the rebound coming out to C.J. Grant. Grant. Oh! Don't know where they were going with that. Looking for uh, Evans, I do believe. But out of bounds right next to us. Inbounds coming up. Robbins will work it in for the Patriots. Get it over to Jordan, who averages 10 points of all game. So far, scoreless. Jordan will drive. Right past steps will kick out now. In the corner, back up top to Battle. Battle looks inside. Nothing there. He's picked up by Beckham defensively with 10 to shoot. Robbins will drive in the paint. Kick out pass again. Open look three. No. Ball tipped around. Rebound coming to the Patriots. That is an errant buzzer. The lay-in is good as they didn't reset the shot clock. It is 14 to 8. Back home with the basketball to Cam Scott. Scott's top of the circle picked up by Jordan defensively. He'll leave it left side with Beckham. Makes a move baseline looking for Evans. Ball is loose. Patriots away with it. Patriots in transition. Whistles. Double dribble. A turnover and the Bears will have it right back. That's tenacious. Patriots defense is doing all kind of disruption. 12.20 time to go here in the opening half. Bears set to inbound. Cartarius Evans will work it in to Trinity Epps. Almost called him Robert Epps. <laughs> <laughs> of course, his dad played and coached here at Walker College. Epps with a basketball left side. He's going to leave it off with Beckham. Beckham in the corner, far side. Goes to the dribble now. He'll dribble on the wing. Now kick out Cam Scott. Scott. From the high post, shot no good. Rebound coming out to the Patriots. Galupo away with a rebound. He'll feed a streaking player. Jordan to the glass, can't to get his shot to fall, but he is fouled. And Cam Scott on this one is gonna pick up his first foul of the game. Jalen Jordan to the line, 91% free throw shooter. This guy's pretty much money and he misses the first one. You spooked him, Brett. Good, I need <laughs> to do that more often. Yeah, coming in a 91% free throw shooter, but he missed the first of two. Let's see if he can connect with the second. Shot. Mm, bounces around on the rim three times and finally falls. Makes it 15 to eight. 11.47 to go until halftime. Beckham off the inbound. He's into the front court, working to the goal to our right. Beckham stops, looks, finds Grant. Grant over to Evans. Evans in the paint. Makes a nice move and puts it up and in. Cartarius Evans now in double figures. Brett, he's got 10 points, and all of those are bevels tonight. Oh, beautiful block there by C.J. Beckham. Nice block that time by Beckham. He's been doing a good job with that. And it's a five-point advantage for the Patriots. They'll have the ball inbound baseline. Brett Elmore and Brian Hill, courtside tonight. 
The ball is stolen away by Evans. Out front to Epps quickly. Bears with numbers. Cam Scott has the ball knocked away out of bounds. It'll be Bear basketball. Good defense that time. Bears had numbers, but uh, just got a hand on it. One of the uh, Patriots did. And the inbounds coming up for C.J. Beckham. Beckham looks, looks. Gonna find Evans, open Evans in the paint. Evans with a hot hand, but he can't get it to fall. The ball tipped around, tip, tip, tip. Who's gonna get it right in front of us here? It's gonna be the Patriots. The Patriots away with it. Jamar Jackson, now the three. Oh, it rims out, no good, and the rebound coming to the Bears. Zepps has it. Gonna leave it with Beckham left side. Beckham on the wing now. To the dribble, looking for help. He'll leave it off with Epps, and he'll reset. Beckham. Over to Epps, left side perimeter. Stops, looks, looks. Finds Beckham, open in the corner. He'll drive baseline. Bounce pass, see uh, Cam Scott. Scott with a basketball. Five to shoot, four to shoot. Cam to the glass, gonna put it up, no good. Rebound, Some on the way. Beckham underneath, whistles and he's fouled. By Kelton Petty and will go to the line to shoot two. Let's see if CJ can pick up some points. Everybody on the roster with the exception of Carterius Evans. Ice cold thus far on to start the contest. Bears have scored 10 points and all 10 points from Carterius Evans, the 6'5 sophomore from Minor, but like you mentioned, Beckham at the line to shoot two. First one on the way. It is up and money. Maurice Johnson checking into the game. Gervais Peters about to check in probably for Beckham, give him a breather. Second shot, good. Three-point deficit, <coughs> Brett. And that is the case. Beckham will go to the bench for a rest. Peters back in. Here's Battle with a basketball. 10-18 to go, opening half. Battle with it, top of the circle. Finding a streaking player, now kick out. Here's a drive on the baseline. Kick out to battle, whistles, and a charge. Trevate Peters hit the deck, and it'll go back the other way. You were talking about this before we came on the air. Yeah, this is one thing that Bevel's starting to do is take some charges. We've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. Uh, let's see, 30 second break. 30 seconds, we'll be back with more Bear Basketball on WJLX. Because you gave. The Walker College Foundation has provided almost $3 million in scholarship funds. Because you gave, I can become a nurse and save lives. Because you gave, I will help shape the minds of future generations with a career in education. Because you gave, I am able to go to school debt-free while becoming an esthetician. So thank you so much. Because you gave. These scholars will change the world around them and make a difference in our community for generations to come. Thank you for your support. Donate today. For more information, log on to WCFDN.org. Presented by Pinnacle Bank here on WJLX and our live stream, Bears Trail by Three, with 10.05 to go. They have the basketball. Appreciate you folks tuning in wherever you may be tonight. Listening on radio or the live stream on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Johnson with the basketball. Over to Beckham now. Beckham, or excuse me, uh, Scott. Now over to Johnson. Scott again, top of the key. Working it around the perimeter here. High post, here is Evans. Gonna lay it up, off the front iron, no good. And the rebound coming out to the Patriots. Open look three from downtown, wow. my goodness gracious. Well, from, he was about 10 points, uh, 10 feet away from, from the heart. way outside. That was Galupo that time for three. And it is uh, 18 to 12 now. 
Scott with the basketball. Got a beat underneath. Here's a nice shot. And in there for um, C.J. Grant. That makes it 18 to 14. Galoop ball with a basketball. Right side perimeter. Now feeds pass cross court. This is Petty. Petty top of the key to battle. Battle with eight to shoot. Picked up by Johnson. Will drive. Kick out. It's off the fingertips of Johnson, they say. Out of bounds with four to shoot. Wallace Selma, 5-1 on the season. They defeated Gadsden State on Tuesday night by eight points, 99-91. 8.35 to go in the half. Three seconds, two seconds. They're not paying attention to the shot clock, and there's the violation. Yep, one of the few, very few lapses by Wallace Selma tonight. Yeah. 8.30 to go until halftime. Again, if you're just joining us, we were we had a late start because uh, Wallace Selma thought it was a seven o'clock tip, so we tipped off at 6:30 tonight instead of six. Camp Scott with the basketball, top of the key to Johnson. Johnson facing the zone defense being applied by the Patriots. Johnson pulls up to the keyhole, puts up a jumper. It's no good. The offensive board, the kick out. Evans now. Well, put it up and in in the lane. Nice job that time by Evans. I believe he has a dozen now. He does indeed, Brett. And another time out on the floor. So we will step aside and take one as well. A 30-second break. Back with more Bear basketball presented by Pinnacle Bank on WJLX. Hello, my name is Ike Baker. I'm a surgeon here in Jasper. Um, I've been using Pinnacle Bank since I came here after residency, and I really enjoyed the uh, local decision making here and have enjoyed our relationship. I'm Mike Wigington, principal at HL Wigington Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. Hi, I'm Drew Gilbert, managing partner at Tallulah Brewing Company, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Dr. Amanda Darty, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, chairman of the board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. And we're back to action here at the Clem. Brett Elmore, Brian Hale, 18-16, a battle going on tonight, Brian. Yeah, thus far, the Bears have stuck with them. They hung in there, and they're playing hard. Here's Galupo for three again. Oh, Good, my, my goodness. goodness. Have mercy on me. That kid can hit it. He is lights out. It's almost not fair. It is 21-16 now. Ball goes out of bounds. 7.27 to go. The Bears will have it side court. <laughs> Galupo can hit the tray. His second one of the night. Yeah, and all of them, both of them have been far away. Way from the outside, yeah. Cam Scott with a basketball. To the dribble. Now he's going to uh, leave it with his teammate who puts up the shot. It's no good. We have a jump ball as um, CJ Grant couldn't get his shot to fall. And we have a tie up. It'll be Patriot basketball. Jordan Bell there tried to secure the ground, the uh, rebound. You better make sure you have a hand in Galupo's face mm. uh, as he crosses the timeline because he could shoot it from anywhere. Here's Battle with the basketball in the paint. Nice move to the bucket. Can't get his shot to fall. Ball is tipped around and put back up and in. Nice job that time. Putting it back up and in. Nice fight underneath. Bears with the basketball now. Whistles. And we got bodies flying everywhere. They're going to tag Jordan Bell on the charge. Yep. Bodies flying everywhere. And number one. Jordan Bell will be charged. 23-16, your score. 6.43 to go in the half as Jalen Jordan has the ball knocked away. Back the other way in transition. 
Here's a pass to Bell. Bell looking for a streaking. Jervé Peters goes out of bounds. Last touched by the Patriots. So Cam Scott will inbound. Looking, looking, gets it into Johnson. Johnson with six and a half minutes to go until halftime. Johnson to Peters, near side, perimeter. In the corner, Scott for three, get it! Right in front of us here, drains the tray. Money. That's Cam's first points of the night, and it comes with a beautiful three-pointer. 23-19. Oh, beautiful block by Jordan Bell. Bell with a block that time. Take a look at that again. Oh, man. How picturesque was that, Brett? Goes out of bounds, 23-19. For you folks watching on the live stream, you get to some of the replays as well. Here is the shot, no good. Bears in transition. Oh, goodness gracious. Blocked out of bounds. And great defense by Jamar Jackson. They Bears again with numbers, but the defense has been really good for the Patriots. Yeah, they really have tonight. It's very sticky. And Skylar Heist, the Oakman Wildcat, now checking in for Maurice Johnson. Bears hanging in there. It's 23-19. Looking to get it in. They'll get it into Peters. Peters around the horn. Cam Scott stops on the wing. Now we'll skip a bounce pass. Now back over to Scott. Plenty of time on the shot clock, so he'll reset. Skyler Heist for three. No, no good. Rebound coming out to the Patriots. Here comes Battle away with it. Battle, left side perimeter. Skips a bounce pass inside. Ooh, ugly fall there. Whistles down, we have a foul. And we have a block against the Bears and Coach Cheatham is beside himself. I have to agree with Coach Cheatham on that one. Yeah. I do not see that as a block on Jordan Bell. It was a charge, but hey, you know, we don't make the calls. On the court, that is. Coach Cheatham beside himself across the way. And he should be, like you mentioned. That'll send Tremere Brown to the line where I have him unofficially with five points. First shot is no good. 5.31 to go until halftime here at the Clem. Bear basketball presented by Pinnacle Bank with three locations here in Walker County. Second shot on the way, it is good. That'll put him with six points unofficially, and that makes it 24-19. Peters will work it in. Now he'll skip it out to Heiss, back to Peters. He'll break the timeline with a pass to Scott. Scott near side. Cam thought about the three, now we'll leave it. Inside, the big man, Jordan Bell, whistles. Count it, and the foul. First points for Jordan Bell. Well, I think this is the first time I've really seen Jordan, and he's had a pretty good showing thus far. Yeah, really. He'll go to the line for the and one. C.J. Beckham checking into the game. Skylar Heiss will check out. Bell, 6'6 freshman from Williamson High School in Mobile. Eli the bucket. Shot on the way, it is good. 24-22, Patriots by two. The Bears are sticking with them, Brett. They've been down by larger deficit, but have worked themselves to only a two point. Yeah, this is a five and one Wallace Selma team. Pretty good outfit. They drive in the paint, a kick out pass. Thought about the three, now we'll put it on the floor, out of bounds. Last touch by the Bears. Good defense that time was under five to play. Opening half of basketball here. 
Davison with it. 10 to shoot in the paint. Here's a drive of the put in good. Tremere Brown with his eighth point. Makes it 26-22. Here's Cam Scott with a basketball. Cam directing traffic. Cam will come top of the circle. Now we will put up the jumper. It's off the back iron, no good. And the rebound coming out to Brown and the Patriots. 4.30 to go. There's a drive in the paint, a kick out pass, a wide open, but he lost the handle of the basketball for a brief moment. Oh, nice move in the bucket. That was absolutely sick. Jalen Jordan with his fifth point. My goodness. And the foul. Look at this. You folks uh -huh. watching on the uh, live stream. You almost want to ask who's his choreographer. Woo. And that was nice. That was pretty. You have to give him credit. And he'll go to the line to shoot one. And he misses it. No good. And the rebound out to the Bears. Back the other way with the basketball. Here's Gervais Peters going to make a move to the bucket. Can't get his shot to fall. Back the other way. Ball is tipped away now. Bears. Back the other way. Here's the lay-in, no good. Can't get it to fall, ball loose. Here's Peters for three, got it! First points for Javay of the night, and it came from a beautiful three-pointer as he was wide open. 28-25, your score. Patriots by three, 3.38 to go in the opening half. Davison with a basketball. Top of the key, Jordan. Jordan will drive to the keyhole, put up the long jumper, good. Long two. And that makes it 30-25. Oh, CJ just threw that one away. Yep, out of bounds. Out of bounds, so a turnover. And back the other way, the Patriots will try to add to their lead here. Cameron Scott checks out, Maurice Johnson in. 3.10 to go until halftime. Here's a long three on the way, no good, would not fall for battle. Rebound, Bears. Bears with the basketball. Evans with it now on the wing, far side, makes a move. In the paint, gonna put it up, count it, and the foul. I tell you what, Carterius Evans, when he has been in tonight, Brett, he has made the most out of his shots. That's his 14th point. Draws the foul. And will go to the line to shoot the free throw, the two, uh, the three point play the old fashioned way. Makes it 30-27. And like you mentioned, he's had a great night tonight. Short on the free throw though. And the rebound coming out to the Patriots. Brown pulls it down. 245 in the lap time. Jordan with a basketball. Skips a pass over to Brown. Top of the key. It's Galupo. Watch out for him. He's gonna pull up, take a long jumper. No good. It's an air ball. Into the hands of the Bears. Back the other way. Bears it. Running with a basketball now, it's loose on the ground. Ball is tied up, let's see. Jump ball, that should be bare possession here. RJ Stevens checking into the ball game. And it looks like he's going to relieve Carterius. Bears will inbound here. Baseline, CJ Beckham will do the honors. Bears down by three. 2.23 to go here until halftime. Johnson standing in front of us here. I'd like to see him catch and shoot a three right here. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> 2.23 to go until halftime. And we have some discussion here. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it looks like they're trying to mop up sweat. Yeah, maybe some sweat on the floor. Bears down three. The inbounds coming up. Beckham needs to get it in. It's stolen away. 
Patriots back the other way. Jordan has it here. Patriots by three. On the wing, kick out, three, up, oh, nope, will not go. Rebound and the dunk is there. Wow, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous layup by Jordan Bell for his fifth point. Five points for Jordan Bell. That makes it 32-29. Patriots with the basketball. Jalen Jordan has it. Jordan, top of the circle, picked up by Peters defensively. He'll try to make a drive to Peters. Whistles that are going to call Gervais with a foul here. A minute 36 to go into halftime. And it's a bonus time for both teams. Both teams with 17 fouls. So to the line will go Jalen Jordan unofficially with about five points tonight. Free throw on the way and good. In comes Trinity Epps and Gervais will check out. I mentioned Jalen Jordan, a pretty good free throw shooter coming in. 91%. As a team, they shoot 78%. 34-29, 90 seconds to go until halftime. Epps with a basketball. Beckham, top of the circle, over and back, they say. I, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. I thought that Beckham was well ahead of the timeline here. And are they going to reverse that? I think they're going to reverse that. I'm not sure, but let's see. No, they're not. Patriots are going to have the ball. Strange, but at any rate, Jalen Jordan and the Patriots will have it with a minute 15 to go until halftime, up by five. Jordan with the basketball, picked up by Epps defensively, skips a bounce pass. All the way now, kick out to Jordan for three, no. Rebound, Beckham and the Bears. Bears with the basketball, Beckham, gonna go. Left side, whistles, a traveling violation. A turnover. And the Patriots will have it with 57 seconds left. Jalen Jordan walks it up the floor, breaks the timeline with the dribble, picked up by Epps defensively. Leave it off now with Tremere Brown. Brown. Back up top of the circle, eight, seven. Jordan at six. At five, he'll make a move on Epps. Puts up a jumper, good. Jordan with a nice jumper that time, unofficially with nine, it's 36. 29, Bears with the basketball, 18 seconds. Shot clock is off. Probably work for the final shot of the half here. RJ Stevens, Beckham, eight, seven, Beckham at six. At five, at four, Beckham makes a move. The follow-up is there by R.J. Stevens, and you hear the buzzer. That is the end of the opening half as the follow-up that time was fantastic by number 13, R.J. Stevens, to give us our halftime score, 36-31. We're going to take a, a three-minute timeout, three minutes, and we'll come back to the Glen Arklin Memorial Gymnasium with halftime comments. That's following these messages. Bear Basketball is presented by Pinnacle Bank. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Martin Roberts, owner of Jasper Veterinary Clinic. Three years ago when I set out to open my own clinic, Pinnacle was my bank of choice to help that dream become a reality. 
Recently, when we needed to expand and had the opportunity to acquire property adjoining to ours, I made one call to Wayne and he set those wheels in motion. If you have banking needs, give Pinnacle a call. Hello everyone, I'm Drake McKenzie from All South Land and Timber. We've been banking with Pinnacle Bank for over 25 years. The customer service at Pinnacle Bank is first class. We highly recommend banking with Pinnacle Bank for all of your financial needs. I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting off, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. The cause you gave. The Walker College Foundation has provided almost $3 million in scholarship funds. Because you gave, I can become a nurse and save lives. Because you gave, I will help shape the minds of future generations with a career in education. Because you gave, I am able to go to school debt-free while becoming an esthetician. So thank you so much. Because you gave, these scholars will change the world around them and make a difference in our community for generations to come. Thank you for your support. Donate today. For more information, log on to WCFDN.org. Welcome back everybody to Bevel State Basketball presented by Pinnacle Bank where the Bevel State Bears have been sticking with the Wallace State Selma Patriots. It is 36 Wallace State Selma to 31 Bevel State. Being joined now by Sebastian Bass. It has been a decent showing here by the Be Bevel State Bears. They're playing some good defense and uh, they're sticking with it. We've seen some good plays from them. They are, they are sticking with it, and it's really surprised me here, but here's the key that I've noticed so far within the first half. Bevel could easily have the lead right now, but there's been some very, very tough officiating calls in this game mm -hmm. that has really rallied uh, Bevel to not get the lead here. Um, but I'll give it to Bevel. They're really sticking with them, and um, Hopefully they can come out with just a little bit better performance in this second half as, uh, um, I don't know what our stats are looking at, but uh, Gervais Peters, I want to say he hit, was it one three or two threes? Uh, he hit a three-pointer. That's his That's, points on the game. But hopefully Gervais can maybe get the ball some more and uh, put the ball in the hoop for the three. Um, but, I mean, really, it's it's been a fair play ball on both sides, and I'm glad that uh, Bevel was able to stick with them because this has uh, turned out to be a really, really good ball game. It has indeed. Uh, taking a look at the numbers, we have mentioned thus far the night that Carterius Evans has had 14 points already. Uh, for the longest time, he was the offense tonight. Uh, and finally, the Bears broke uh, that little – cold streak that they had in the first part of the half uh, but Carterius with 14 points Jordan Bell this is our first time and see him he has been really good both on offense and as a defender he's got five points uh, three rebounds and a block tonight and then uh, there's Cameron Scott and Gervais Peters both with three points thus far in the game uh, you know uh, the other part uh, that I just mentioned uh, there was a, a quite a bit of a cold streak there in the first part of this half shooting 
for everybody but Carterius Evans, they've kind of found their groove uh, as Bevel State. But the three-point shooting for Wallace Selma has just been ridiculous. I mean, the, <laughs> the Garoppolo uh, guy has just – he's been hitting threes from way behind the arc, and it's been amazing to see. Yeah, and uh, I was watching his pregame warm-up. I don't know if you got to saw that. He I was did. I mean, he, for a while, he was on a hot streak. I'm like, man, if Bevel does not guard him, him they're going to be in trouble because mm-hmm. he is he is a really good shooter, three-point shooter. Um, <laughs> like I was saying before the game, I wish uh, I wish I'd get some lessons from him because he is he's an amazing shooter. Now, the rest of the uh, Patriots' uh, three-point shooting wise have not been quite as on fire. Uh, as we would expect it. Uh, outside of Garofalo, it's, it's just been kind of, uh, it's been really spotty, but uh, they have been connecting uh, everywhere else, and it, it hadn't been a whole lot of problem for them, so hopefully we can see a little bit more of the Bears defense step it up. Yeah, for sure. They need to, um, especially in this close tight game, they've been playing really good uh, ball on, like a, on offense and defense. Um, but they're going to have to step up in some defense to stop these uh, good drives that the Patriots are having here. Well, we're going to take a two-minute break, and we're going to step on back, as Bass usually and I usually do, with a little walk around the area. So a two-minute break. Our producer and engineer back in the studio, Woody Wilson, will be bringing you a message from our sponsor. So we'll be back after two minutes with Bevel State Basketball, brought to you by Pinnacle Bank. Welcome back, everybody, to Bevel State Basketball presented by Pinnacle Bank, where the Bevel State Bears trail the Wallace Selma Patriots 36-31. to uh, Bass, we know that officially this is the last game for the Bears before the Christmas break, but uh, understand that they are still trying to work on a couple of games during the Christmas break. Uh, as soon as we know, it'll be official, but uh, it, it, once we get it, it's uh, supposedly, from what we've heard, it would be uh, two home games, which would be great. That would uh, be awesome. We, we certainly hope that, um, and it would be really good because a, a month-long layoff is, is not what you want uh, going into conference play. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you got uh, – we we're, we were talking about this on Tuesday night. That's a month and four days until your mm-hmm. next game. So, hopefully they'll be able to schedule a couple games within this uh, pretty much Christmas break, I'd say. Um, holiday break, whatever you want to call it. And really uh, kind of keep the Bears, you know, momentum going into these uh, conference games in January because, I mean, that is a long break to uh, just not really do much of anything. So, um, hopefully we'll pick up some games for that, and hopefully maybe for us, maybe we can pick us up, pick us up some uh, little high school games from you know 
Well, we are looking at that. Uh, also looking at maybe doing some Jasper wrestling. Uh, they have finally have one home meet uh, coming up next week. Hopefully we can get over there and take care of it. We've got some features, we don't want to spoil it, that will be coming up also next week that we'll be taking care of uh, and bringing to the folks out there. So a uh, couple of good things going on. Of course, next month, one of my favorite events of the year, the Walker County Basketball Tournament, and we're pretty much expecting that this is going to be probably one of the better tournaments uh, that we've seen uh, on the boys' side. I tell you what, uh, Carbon Hill, Curry, Oakman, and Cordova, they look like they're going to be on the boys' side. Quite uh, uh, good matchups uh, coming this far. I honestly believe one through four, they can easily, any of them on the good night can take it. Well, I sure hope so because uh, in the lifetime that I've been with the radio station, even before, I have actually never been to the Walker County Tournament. Mm, it is, uh, since we don't have a football Walker County Tournament, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's it's essentially, it's, it's Walker County's granddaddy of them all. So enjoyable to broadcast. Everybody comes out, and uh, it's always a very good one to see. Uh, of course, uh, this year, the Walker County Tournament will be at, I believe it's it's Oakman, I believe, this year. Uh, so we'll have to double check on that. But, uh, yeah, I do believe it was at Oakman. Last year was at Dora. So it will revert back to Oakman this year. And uh, they did some great job. They've done a great job with Oakman's gym. I don't know if you've seen it as of late, but it looks spectacular in there. Well, I have. I Let's see, I have not, I don't believe, been to the high school gym. Mm -hmm. I believe they got a high school gym. Um, but I played 7th uh, and 8th grade basketball at their, uh, I guess it was middle school gym at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and, boy, I'll tell you, there, there was one thing that really sucked. You know, we started uh, basketball off against Oakman, and they didn't have no AC in there. Oh, my so, goodness. So, you know, you're running up and down the court sweating like crazy, and it's like – 85 degrees in the building. Sweat it, it's rough, but I mean, oh that's the only time I've really been to Oakman basketball-wise, and uh, it wasn't a fun experience there and that, but I hope maybe they got some a AC over there, because that would be nice. Well, uh, we've had some good broadcast. The last tournament that we had out there was great, and I think this one will be as well. We're looking forward to that. That's always the week of uh, the Martin Luther King Day. It's uh, when we expect it all, and we're going to be looking forward to it, but uh, we're going to step back and take a one-minute break, and Brett will be rejoining us for the second half of Bevel State Basketball versus Wallace Cell Patriots, presented by Pinnacle Bank. Welcome back, everyone, to the Glen Arclem Memorial Gymnasium here in Jasper. We're just about set for the second half of action as the Patriots of Wallace Selma leads the Bears 36-31 at intermission. And, Brian, I guess uh, the story of the first half is Carterius Evans, a 6'5 sophomore from Minor High School with a big night so far for the Bears. Yeah, 14 points, Brett. And, you know, for the first part of that first half, uh, he was essentially the offense. The rest of the Bears went through a, a cold streak, but uh, they were able to effectively get some points along there. And, you know, they've been playing hard. Uh, they 
three-point shooting though from Garoppolo, they've got to find a way to stop that because that guy is hitting it. He, he's almost taking artillery shots. Yeah, he's having a big night. So is uh, Tremere Brown and uh, Jalen Jordan all having big nights tonight. The guy that's not having a big night for Selma is Rodney Battle. He's averaging 19 points a game, and unofficially I have him with two as we get back to action here. Wallace Selma will have the basketball to start things out. Cross court they go, the alley-oop. Oh, it's in and out of the hands of Marquise Davison and out of bounds, and the Bears will have it baseline. Just blew that one on the pass. He was actually in position, but pass was just a little too high. Johnson, Beckham, Peters, Stevens, and Evans. You're five on the floor for the Bears. Beckham will drive in the paint. Going to put up the shot. It's no good. Nope. Count it as it is going to be basket interference. So the Bears with two more on the scoreboard. It's 36-33. And that's uh, four points for CJ. as he'll get those points on the interference. Back the other way, Patriots with the basketball. Looking inside for the big man, nothing there. Comes near side, the three, oh, on the way. It is a no good right in front of us here as they take a tumble. Number 24, Jamar Jackson almost took a tumble right through our table. Just underway at the clip of the second half. Beckham will slow things up. He'll feed off with Johnson, far side perimeter. Johnson, top of the circle to Beckham. Beckham back to Johnson. Listening live on Oldies 101.5 in Jasper, and of course our live stream on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as we have whistles away from the basketball. And this is going to be on the Patriots. It'll be the first team foul as Austin Galupo checks back in for the, the Pats. Beckham gets it in. Shooting is Johnson for three. No, fight for the rebound underneath. And the Patriots away with a rebound. Near side perimeter. Looking in for the big man. He's got it. Double team. He's got a catch. Whistle. Oh, my goodness. And oh, my. Look out. Uh, we've got a scrum that's about to break out here. Cooler heads are going to prevail. I thought that we were about to come to blows here as Johnson took a vicious shot. And uh, Coach Kelly Cheatham off the bench here to talk to the referees. Coach Dwayne Evans for the Patriots pacing along the far sideline as well. When all is said and done, I believe the Bears, will, who will have the basketball here? Let's see. Uh, it'll be, uh, it'll be the Patriots. So the Patriots will inbound baseline underneath their own bucket here. Looking on the inbound. The trigger man gets it in to battle. Battle over to Jackson. Jackson back around far side. A drive along the baseline. A nice shot underneath. It's no good. And um, Jave Peters down with the board. Peters going to take it coast to coast. And lay it up and in. Beautiful lay in. Jave Peters. Five points now for Gervais. Gervais Peters, five points. And that's going to give the Bears a one-point deficit, 36-35 here at the Clem. Jalen Jordan with the basketball, picked up by Peters defensively. He'll drive in the paint, turn around, going to put up the finger roll. It's up and in. Nice-looking shot that time as he... Put the nice touch to it to get him in double figures to Jordan, 11 points. Bears back away with a basketball. This is Maurice Johnson, top of the key to Beckham. 13 to shoot, Beckham far side. We'll dribble drive. And we'll have it knocked away. Still loose, whistles out of bounds. It'll be, let's see. They're gonna tag Bevel with a foul. I believe that's gonna be on Gervais. So they'll call this one on Jermaine Peters, first team foul of the half, or second team foul of the half. And now the Patriots will inbound. They'll get it in to Jordan, who will walk it up the floor. Jalen Jordan, 
A pass over to Battle. Battle will drive in the paint. Floater off the window and no good. And the rebound coming out to Evans. Out front to Peters. Peters going to drive, stops, leaves it. Three ball, wide open, no good. Air ball. And the rebound coming out to the Patriots as C.J. Beckham could not find the rim. Top of the circle. Jalen Jordan goes left side. Here's Galupo again, short with a three this time, and Beckham away with a rebound, and he's fouled by uh, number 13, Jalen Thomas, or excuse me, 23, excuse me, Kenneth Robbins will be charged with a foul. That's the second team foul. As the clock is running, no one cares, so apparently. <laughs> I think Galupo, that was his first miss of the game, Brett. He is from three land. Yeah. He has six points so far here tonight unofficially. Maurice Johnson with the basketball, 16-15 to go in the ball game. Here's a drive in the paint, shot no good. Whistles though and a foul. Bears down by three. It is 38-35. And to the line will go number 24, Cartarius Evans. Cartarius thus far with 14 points. I believe this is his first trip to the free throw line. It's up and good. He actually took one in the first half. Oh, okay. Uh, so this this is actually his second trip to the charity strike. Well, he's matched his season average. He averages 15 points a game. He's got 15. And looking to add to it is there in the lane too soon. And we'll go back the other way. The shot was missed anyway. It's 38-36 here in the second half. The press is on, Galupo with the inbound. They'll let traffic clear, Rodney Battle with the basketball. Been pretty silent tonight. He's their leading scorer, only with two. Battle to the dribble. Battle gonna pull up, take the three. It's off the front iron, no good. Whistles and the big man's gonna be charged with a foul. That is Jamal Albritton. He's a big kid. I don't have dimensions on these guys, but he's a big one. He's the biggest guy on the floor. He's got to be around that six foot eight, six foot nine mark. Yeah, he's he's huge. Maurice Johnson with a basketball far side perimeter to the dribble. Between his legs, way outside. Keeps his dribble up as the bench comes alive across the way for Selma. Whistles and a foul is called on Jamar Jackson. That'll be the 15th foul of the half. Fouls racking up already, Brett. There's still over 15 minutes left and already five fouls for the Patriots. Bears will inbound. Beckham will do so. Side court in front of the Bear bench. He's saying, come on, I need some help. Johnson will get the inbound. He draws a double team, though, on the sideline. He'll get control now and will set things up top of the key. Ten to shoot. Skips a bounce pass. Oh, it's blocked by the big man. Into the hands, though, the Bears and Peters. Five to shoot, four. Johnson's going to be fouled by Galupo. Boy, and uh, I tell you what, Coach Evans, over for Wallace Selma, is absolutely going berserk. Six team foul, and now the Bears will inbound side court. Beckham looks to inbound. He gets it into Peters. Peters, 15-18, time to go here in the ball game. Brett Elmore and Brian Hell for WJLX Sports. Appreciate you folks listening live on radio and our video feed on our social media platforms. Here's a bounce pass, a long open look, good. Nice shot that time. You have four points for RJ Stevens. RJ Stevens, this fourth point. And that makes it a tie ball game here at the Clem. And it's not been tied since we started, I don't think. It has not. 38 all here at the Clem. A drive in the, on the wing. Here's Galupo from downtown Jasper. Shot is gonna go out of bounds. You hear the buzzer. I believe the shot clock was winding down. Galupo took that shot from literally the courthouse square. He was making those in the first half, Brett, and now he's uh, he's kind of gotten cold. Catching some air, and that's fine. 
C.J. Beckham will drive now. Beckham is going to be traveling with the basketball. A turnover, and the Patriots will have it right back. Tied at 38 at the Clem, 14-14 to go. Battle with the basketball. Going to leave it off with his teammate, Jamar Jackson, far side perimeter. Picked up by Evans defensively. Stops his dribble. Looks, looks, finds help. He gets it in Jordan. Jordan has it. Nine to shoot, eight to shoot. In the corner, it's going to go off the top of the backboard and into the hands of the Bears. Peters away with a basketball into the front court. Peters drives, now kicks back out with his dribble. Sets things up. Coach Cheatham with instructions right there in front of the Bear bench. Evans inside to number 13, R.J. Stevens. Whistles, he's going to be fouled by Jamal Albright, and that's his, at least his second, and that's going to put the Bears in the bonus. I tell you what, Brett, this is some beautiful defense that the Bears have been playing in the second half. Looks like we've got a timeout. We do have a timeout. We'll take one as well. Bear basketball here on WJLX is presented by Pinnacle Bank. We'll take a one-minute break, one minute, and we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Mason Boren with Twisted Barley Brewing Company in downtown Jasper, and I do all my banking with Pinnacle Bank. Hi, my name is Sean Doss from the Cigar Box and Goatee Screen Printing downtown Jasper, and my bank is Pinnacle Bank. I'm Mike Wigington, principal at HL Wigington Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, chairman of the board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. Welcome back to the Glenar Club Memorial Gymnasium in Jasper. Brett Elmore, Brian Hill for WJLX Sports. Bear Basketball presented by Pinnacle Bank and the one and one coming up now for R.J. Stevens. What has he done tonight? Well, R.J. connecting on that shot now has five points. He has a couple of rebounds and a steal. And that gives the Bears their first lead, I believe. It is. 39-38. Second shot is good. 40-38. RJ connects with both. And now the Patriots will have the basketball. Here's a drive of the paint. He walked, but no call. We got a foul. I thought he walked, but they're going to say the foul and two shots coming up. So two shots coming up for the big man. Jalen Jordan, unofficially with 11 points. He's in double figures, I know that. First shot on the way, it is up and good. 40 to 39. Looks like Cornelius Grant gonna check in, RJ Stevens gonna check out for the Bears. Galupo back in, and he will spell Jamal Albritton, who, that, that I don't, I believe he's got two fouls at least. Back iron, no good. Offensive board, though. And they'll reset here. The Patriots will. Jalen Jordan with the basketball to Galupo. Now near side battle. Battle picked up by Beckham defensively. He'll drive in the paint. Puts up the layup, no good. Rebound Evans and the Bears. Beckham quickly into the front court. Beckham will drive, kick out Johnson for three. Off the side of the backboard, it's no good. Back the other way, Battle. Battle will drive to the glass, whistles, he's gonna be fouled. And will go to the line to shoot two. It's gonna be on Carterius Evans. That's gonna be, I believe, his second foul of the game. He picked up the first foul for any of the teams, just his second. Rondy Battle 
averaging 19 points a game. He's in an 89% free throw shooter as he connects with a first to tie the ball game. But Battle is their leading scorer, averaging 19 points. That is only his third of the ball game. So he has been quiet tonight. And let's hope he stays that way, but he does connect with the second. It's 41-40. Bears with the basketball, trailing by a point. Beckham with it now. Beckham into the front court. He'll leave it off with Jordan Bell, who just checked in. Back over to Johnson, now back to Beckham, who will set things up. Next dead ball will have a substitution as well as uh, Cam Scott will prepare to check back in. Five seconds on the shot clock. Johnson at three, at two, at one, Bell. Got it! At the buzzer! Seven points now for Jordan Bell. Jordan Bell at the buzzer as time expired. It's 42-41, now out of bounds. It'll be Bear Basketball. Brett, the defense that we're seeing for Bevel State in this second half is really, really, really strong. They're playing well tonight, they really are. Uh, we, we know we have some talent on this mm -hmm. team. When they gel, they're gonna be hard to handle, and maybe tonight will be the night, and of course this is our last scheduled game <laughs> before our huge break, but uh, let's, uh, we'll see. Here's number 15 with the basketball, Cam Scott, who just checked in. Johnson with it now at five, at four to shoot. Short with his shot, rebound coming out to Battle and company. Battle with the basketball, oh, knocked out of bounds by Evans, and uh, the Patriots will have it side court here, 11-24 to go in the ball game. This is our first chance to see Jordan Bell, and, and I tell you what, he's a very good player. Yeah, he is. 6'6", six, six freshman, good looking player. He looks like a basketball player, he's built like one. He looks like a player. Here's a drive in the paint. This is battle again. Kick out, three on the way. No, will not fall. Evans down with the board. He'll leave it off with now Beckham. Beckham into the front court with a dribble. Beckham, gonna drive, kisses it off the glass. It's no good. Rebound, fought for. And down they come. Wallace Selma, Jordan with the basketball. Lays it up, no good. Rebound, fought for, still on the floor. Still on the floor. Still on the floor and out of bounds <laughs> across the way. It'll be Patriot basketball. That almost looked like a soccer match for a moment. Yeah, really. 10.49 to go here in the ball game. Patriots will inbound side court here. Jalen Jordan will be the trigger man. Looking, finds, battle open. Battle picked up by Beckham, whistles now. And 18 on the shot clock. And we had some shot clock issues, so here we go. Back to action, Battle has it. Once again, picked up by Beckham defensively. The ball is loose, ball is right. Gonna go right back into the hands of one of the uh, Patriots, Davison, and he's gonna be fouled. I believe they're going to tag Cam Scott on this as the battle for the ball just ended up with a foul. So, that is going to be the fifth team foul of the half for the Bears, and uh, the Patriots will inbound baseline as soon as they wipe up some more sweat off the floor. Next game scheduled for the Bears will be January 6th against Marion Military. But once again, uh, Coach uh, possibly going to schedule a game, maybe two, before Christmas. We're not sure yet. Galupo for three. He throws up another air ball. Man, he has lost his range, yeah, hasn't he? Because he was hitting absolutely everything from way behind the arc. 10.27 to go. Bears up by a point here. Here's a feed inside. Kick out now to Peters. Gervais stops his dribble. Here's a uh, shot from Jordan Bell. Will not fall along the baseline. And a rebound coming out to the Patriots. 
Davison will drive to the hoop as it blocked from behind. The foul is called. Two shots coming up. That's team foul number six for Bevel State. Two shots coming up here for Davison. He's good. Ties the ball game. I believe that's his first point of the night as he misses his second. And Jordan Bell down with a rebound. Leaves it off with Johnson. Ten minutes to go at the Clem. Johnson will leave it off now with Cam Scott back over now to Peters. Peters will drive on the wing. Peters loses his footing. Gets it out. Heads up play to Johnson. Kick out. Three on the way. Oh, no. He stepped on the baseline out of bounds. Carterius Evans checking into the ball game. He is going to relieve Cornelius Grant. Good ball game tonight here at the Clem. The five and one Patriots into town and the Bears get, oh my goodness. The alley-oop is good. The Patriots reclaim the lead. That was Davison that time. And now it's 44-42. Here's a long deuce on the way, no good. Ball is loose, Johnson comes away with it. Johnson, as we approach nine minutes to play, gonna leave it with Peters, thought about the three. Now will stop, finds a wide open player underneath, that is Evans. 17 points now for Carterius. Carterius Evans, wide open underneath, and a nice assist that time from Peters. We're tied at 44, 8.49 to go. Battle with it, a long deuce, he got it. Rodney Battle starting to Warm up now, six points. Like I say, he averages 19. He only had two and a half. Johnson with the basketball, now for the Bears. Eight and a half minutes to go, Peters. We'll work it underneath. Here's Jordan Bell, nice move to the bucket and puts it up and in. Nine points for Jordan. Jordan Bell with his ninth point. That was another beautiful move that time as he lays it up and in. We're tied at 46. Galupo with a basketball, top of the key. Gonna leave off with Jordan, left side. Here's a bounce pass in the paint. It is Battle, battling for position and he puts it up and in. Battle. And the Patriots lead by two. Here's Bell underneath, circus shot. He's gonna be fouled going to the basket and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Brett, I know that's the eighth team foul, and for some reason it's just setting on seven. I know they had problems with this last year, uh, that the team fouls just seemed to go up to seven at a maximum. Yeah, uh, I believe they're having that problem tonight because, um, I, well, I saw some discussion at the time at the scorer's table, but we've got a timeout on the floor. Your score, 48-46, Patriots on top. And uh, let's see if it's a full timeout or a 30-second. Nope, it's going to be a full timeout. So, Woody, we'll take uh, one minute and return to Bear Basketball on JLX. Hello, my name is Ike Baker. I'm a surgeon here in Jasper. Um, I've been using Pinnacle Bank since I came here after residency, and I really enjoyed the uh, local decision-making here and have enjoyed our relationship. I'm Mike Wigginton, principal at HL Wigginton Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. Hi, I'm Drew Gilbert, managing partner at Tallulah Brewing Company, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Dr. Amanda Darty, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, chairman of the board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too.
Welcome back, everybody. Bear basketball on WJLX. Two shots coming up now. First one up, no good. Clanks for Jordan Bell. Had a chance to tie the ball game here, but he'll shoot the second. It's up. All right, rims out on him, no good again. Can't connect. 7.40 to go in the ball game. Battle with the basketball. A long range two, and once again, I told you, Brian, this guy's eating up. He's at the double figures now. He averages 19 points a game. He has 10. He only had two at the half. 50 to 46. Johnson with the basketball. A kick out, and now Johnson will have it for three. Way off the mark, no good. And the rebound coming out to the Patriots. Battle with the basketball. Beckham picks him up defensively, and he's got a big job ahead of him here as he has the hot hand, and he oh delivers my again. My goodness. Look out. Battle has 12. we got a timeout on the floor. The Bears are going to talk things over here. So with 6.52, time to go here. We're going to take another one-minute timeout. We'll be back with more Bear basketball on WJLX. Because you gave, the Walker College Foundation has provided almost $3 million in scholarship funds. Because you gave, I can become a nurse and save lives. Because you gave, I will help shape the minds of future generations with a career in education. Because you gave, I am able to go to school debt-free while becoming an esthetician. So thank you so much. Because you gave, these scholars will change the world around them and make a difference in our community for generations to come. Thank you for your support. Donate today. For more information, log on to WCFDN.org. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. Bevel State Walker College Basketball presented by Pinnacle Bank here on WJLX 52-46. Your score, Patriots on top after the timeout. Well, let's see if the adjustments Bevel talked about here is going to work them back into the defense that we saw start this half. Johnson with the basketball off the inbound. Still in the backcourt. Feeds a pass to Beckham, right side perimeter. Back over to Johnson, back to Beckham. Around the horn they go. 14 to shoot, plenty of time. Evans, high post. He will drive. He'll make a move to the bucket, and he'll be fouled by the big man. Jamal Albritton, that's at least his third. And that's going to send Cartarius Evans to the line to be shooting free throws here. I believe this is the ninth team foul. So Cartarius will have two. 17 points. Make it 18 as he connects. 52-47. Second shot. Bunny. <laughs> Carteri is now 19 points on the night, Brett. He has had a sensational game. Four-point lead for the Patriots. They have the basketball. Number three with it, Jalen Jordan will drive, kisses it off the window and in. My goodness, nice looking shot that time. And makes it 54-48. Here's Evans underneath, misses the shot, gets his own rebound though. He'll put it on the floor, now we'll put it off the glass and in. Good job that time for Cartarius Evans, his 21st point. Yep, picked up his own rebound there, he's got four rebounds in the night. And there's another shot by the Patriots, making it 56-50. With a basketball, the Bears with it now. Here's a nice baseline move from Cam Scott. 
Two more for the good guys. It's 56-52. Back and forth we go, but time becoming a factor. 5.20 to go, crunch time. Another long deuce, good. And that was Jalen Jordan. 58-52. Beckham with the basketball to the dribble. He's gonna drive, kick out now. Here's number 15, Cam Scott. Scott to the, hard to the uh, glass he goes and he's gonna be fouled and shooting two free throws and I believe, is this number 34 again? I think it is. That'll be his fourth for the big man, Jamal Albritton. 4.59 to play in regulation. 58-52, first free throw is good. Scott now with six points. Bears need to watch out for this guy camping out in front of us here mm -hmm. on the inbound as Evans now will come over and say, welcome to Jasper, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> One more free throw. Oh, that was pretty slick for Kelton Petty. He was standing right in front of us here. We're set up side court. Thought he could get away with it, but no. Second free throw is no good, and Battle pulls down the board. Epps back into the game for the Bears. He will pick up number three, Jalen Jordan, defensively. Here's Battle in the paint, floater, back iron, and it bounces around and around and around and in. Battle with 14, back the other way. Bears, Epps, open for three. Air ball, no good. Rebound coming out to Battle. And the Patriots. My goodness, look at his moves. Golly, this guy can play, can flat out play, and here's Galupo for three. Too hard this time, no good. Penny down with the offensive rebound. 4.17 to go, they'll reset. Battle, picked up by Beckham defensively. Battle. Makes a move, he'll make a move in the paint and will lose the handle out of bounds. It'll be Bear basketball. Great play there by R.J. Stevens to disrupt the play, knock it out. R.J. will inbound to C.J. Beckham, breaking the timeline with four minutes to go at the Clem. 60 to 53, Patriots on top. Beckham near side to Epps in the corner, Scott. Looks, looks, finds Epps. Back around to Beckham, far side now as they reverse the ball. Corner look three, no good. Gets his own rebound though to Cam Scott. Whistles, and we have bodies flying everywhere. And I believe Cam Scott's gonna be fouled and going to the line. And this is indeed team foul number 10. And this is indeed the fifth foul on, I believe, one of the Patriots. I thought Mr. Referee said that's five. And we do have yep. a sub. Who, who got five, Who got their fifth foul? I believe that's Davison. Maybe. Or... maybe. We got a timeout, though, on the floor. So we'll take one as well, a 30-second break. And we'll be back with more Bear Basketball. It's all presented by Pinnacle Bank on WJLX. Hi, I'm Mason Boren with Twisted Barley Brewing Company in downtown Jasper. And I do all my banking with Pinnacle Bank. Hi, my name is Sean Doss from the Cigar Box and Goatee Screen Printing downtown Jasper. And my bank is Pinnacle Bank. I'm Mike Wigington, principal at HL Wigington Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, chairman of the board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. And we welcome you back to the Glen Clem Memorial Gymnasium. Bear basketball presented by Pinnacle Bank. Seven point deficit for the Bears, but 342 to play and a couple of free throws coming up for Cam Scott. Cam with six points on the game. Looking to see if he can get ever closer to that double digit mark. Cam Scott, a 6'6 sophomore, a former Pinson Valley Indian. Shot on the way and good. Cam, of course, had that great game Tuesday night. 19 points, six rebounds, three steals, and a block. Six, 
60 to 54. 60 to 55 as he connects with both. Yep, and they're gonna get a foul on Trinity Epps. And that's gonna get the one and one to the Patriots. Yep, Patriots will march up the floor here and shoot the one and one coming up, and I believe doing the honors will be Jalen Jordan. 3.41 to go, next scheduled game for the Bears. Gonna be January 6th against Marion, but like we mentioned, may have a couple of games before then. We don't know, they're trying to schedule some games as the first shot is good. And it would be good to at least have one, Brett, because that's a long, long lull. That is a long lull. Second shot is good. Well, it's what, over a month? Yeah. Yeah, good grief. Second shot is good. 62-55. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Petty and company. So the Bears will inbound side court. Epps will trigger in. Got a decent crowd on hand for tonight's game. Here's Beckham with a basketball. Going to feed in the corner to Epps. Epps back over to Beckham. Now over to R.J. Stevens for three. Rims out on him. No good. And the big man pulls down the board. That's Jamal Albritton for the Patriots. Going to leave it in the hands of Battle. And they're in no big hurry. They have no. a seven-point lead. Not at all. 3-11 left in the game. Albritton will leave it off now with Battle. Works off a screen. Whistles, illegal screen mm -hmm. on um, Jamal Albritton that time. And back the other way we go. Bears will have it, 3.02 to go. Beckham and a sense of urgency for the Bears now as they're down by seven. Epps with the basketball, near side. Leave it off now with Beckham. Beckham near side to Epps in the corner now. Cam Scott, Scott back to Epps. Back around now, 14 to shoot. Beckham, top of the key, goes to the drive. He's going to pull up, take the jumper. Rims out, it bounced three times on the rim and rimmed out on him. All Britain down with the board for the Patriots. And once again, they're not in a big hurry here. Jalen Jordan picked up by Epps defensively. 2.25 to go in the ball game. Every possession got a count now for the Bears. They have any chance of winning this thing. Battle with the basketball, puts a move on Scott, puts a move to the bucket, and he's gonna be fouled. I tell you what, I fully expect this battle once his time at Wallace Summers up. He's gotta be in D1 somewhere. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a great player. Like, like we mentioned, 19 points a game, free throw shooter, he's spot on 89%. Cam Scott tagged with a foul. And to the line goes Battle, where he misses off the back iron. No good. 2-12 to play. Well, coming up Saturday, we have a, uh, well, a small football game. Mm. <laughs> 12 noon airtime, SEC championship game as the second shot is good for Battle. is unofficially his 15th point. Bama and Georgia. Three o'clock kick, 12 air right here on JLX. 101.5 FM. All I can say is, Brad, I hope the offensive line has been working hard. <laughs> I do too. Here's a drive and a put in good. And it is Cam Scott again. I believe that gets him in double figures, it right? It does, it's 10 points for Cam. Nice move that time along the baseline. Easy lay in off the left side. Galupo with the basketball now. Watch out, he may shoot it <laughs> from way outside. Now kick out. Back to Galupo. Thought about the three. Now we'll leave now. Petty with the basketball. Leaves it off. Eight to shoot. Jordan at five, at four. He will drive to the keyhole. Going to turn around. Jumper. No, will not go. And the Bears and Evans away with the board. We got to have some points. A minute mm -hmm. ten to go. Here's a... <clears throat> Shot no good, whistles on a foul. It's 63-57 and to the line. We'll go to the Bears and number three, C.J. Beckham. C.J. is gonna have to connect on both of those. They need to draw this to a one-shot game. Yep. 
Got it. Five points now for CJ. Substitution coming in. I believe Jordan is back in for uh, Selma, Wallace Selma. It is 63-58, and he missed the second. Mm. One minute to go at the Clem. Bears trying to steal. Galupo going to leave Petty. Three-pointer. Oh, my and goodness. Boy, that's a dagger if I've ever seen one. My goodness. The three ball, he connects. 60-658. Timeout, a, a momentary delay in the action here. And that one may be the nail in the coffin. Like I mentioned, yeah. one minute to go now. Bears are going to have to connect on nothing but three-pointers, and there just hasn't been that many for them tonight. <laughs> First points for Petty, and they're big ones. 66-58. Three ball on the way, no yeah. good. And the rebound, Petty, 45 seconds to go. I think he can put this one in the can, Brett. Battle with the basketball, draws the double team. Almost over and back, but no. Jordan will have it. He'll just dribble time off the clock here. 12 to shoot. And the foul by R.J. Stevens. So to the line will go uh, Jalen Jordan. And if you were going to foul, why did he waste so much time? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. But hey, the Bears have played hard tonight. Yeah, they have, and this is a really good Wallace Selma team. They come in five and one. They only lost to Hansville. Here's the first shot, good. Battle of the Wallaces. Yeah. We'll see Wallace of Hansville later on. We'll see. Man, the Northern Division, a tough one this year. Mm -hmm. Second shot is good, 17 unofficially for him. Shot clock off. 68-58, Bears trail by 10. Beckham with the basketball over to Johnson, back to Beckham. Squares up for three, no, will not go. Here's a long one for Evans, he got it. Nice shot that time, whistles and a uh, momentary delay as we look back on the live stream. The kick out to the big man that time. Big man says, hey, I can shoot outside too. How many is that for Carteris? That's 24 for Carteris. Uh, just an absolutely marvelous game for him tonight. Inbounds coming up, only 12 seconds left. Bears gonna drop this one. 10 seconds, nine. Long pass to Petty at seven. At six, at five. He's gonna dribble it out. And 68-61 gonna be your final score. As you hear the buzzer, That'll do it here at the Clem, 68-61. Your final score, the Bears drop this one after taking the lead with 13.29 to go in the second half, but the Bears could not hold on. They drop it by seven points, 68-61. We're gonna take a timeout here. When we come back, Brian will have the final numbers. We'll take a one minute break, Woody Wood, uh, one minute, and we're back to the Clem. You're listening to Bear Basketball, presented by Pinnacle Bank on WJLX. Because you gave, the Walker College Foundation has provided almost $3 million in scholarship funds. Because you gave, I can become a nurse and save lives. Because you gave, I will help shape the minds of future generations with a career in education. Because you gave, I am able to go to school debt-free while becoming an esthetician. So thank you so much. Because you gave, these scholars will change the world around them and make a difference in our community for generations to come. Thank you for your support. Donate today. For more information, log on to WCFDN.org. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Martin Roberts, owner of Jasper Veterinary Clinic. Three years ago when I set out to open my own clinic, Pinnacle was my bank of choice to help that dream become a reality. Recently, when we needed to expand and had the opportunity to acquire property adjoining to ours, I made one call to Wayne and he set those wheels in motion. If you have banking needs, give Pinnacle a call. Hello everyone, I'm Drake McKenzie from All South Land and Timber. We've been banking with Pinnacle Bank for over 25 years. The customer service at Pinnacle Bank is first class. We highly recommend banking with Pinnacle Bank for all of your financial needs. 
I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. As we welcome back in our live streamers as well on our social media pages, 68-61, the final score. Brian, um, the uh, final numbers now for the Bears. Well, it, this is not going to take any guessing who our player of the game is. Cartarius Evans, we called him so many times tonight, and for good reason. He had 24 points, five rebounds, and a couple of steals. Uh, just a marvelous game for him. Uh, Cameron Scott. He, he, he came out with 10 points, had a couple of rebounds and a steal. And I tell you, to, to round it out, it's the first time that we've seen him this year. Jordan Bell with nine points uh, and four rebounds along with a block. Uh, Jordan, uh, I tell you what, I think is going to be end up being a great player before this season's over with for the Bears. I do too, and uh, I think this Bear team, uh, once again, I, I, they have the potential. It's just, uh, we were talking with Coach uh, Cheatham before the game, it's just finding that right combination, that right groove, and, and getting there, but we'll see. Uh, the Bears, though, they do drop to 2-7 and seven on the season. The Patriots improved to 6-1 and one overall. The next scheduled game for the Bears will be January 6th against Marion right here at the Clem, but once again, Coach uh, is working on a couple of games mm -hmm. that we may have coming up in uh, later later in the month. Yeah, if we can get everything, and once everything's confirmed, uh, we'll be posting it, uh, of course, to all of our media outlets. Woody will and Johnny will have it announced. Uh, we'll be posting it to Facebook and, of course, on the website. Uh, we'll try to get everybody informed as soon as we have everything confirmed. All right, very good. Your final score, 68-61. The Bears dropped this one to Wallace Selma for... Uh, Woody Wilson back at the studio, our producer and engineer on the radio side for um, Sebastian Black uh, running the camera tonight for Brian Hill. I'm Brett Elmore saying good night from the Glen R. Clem Memorial Gymnasium in Jasper.